Hello scientists, welcome to Dropout Med. I'll be showing you my medical illustration process in this video so you'll get to see how I create this illustration from a dissection specimen. If this is the first time you're at my channel, welcome. I'm scientific illustrator John and I create these graphical abstract tutorials for scientists so you can follow them to create beautiful scientific illustrations for your publications. If you have checked out my COVID-19 test video, then you'll see that I uh, have created a nasopharyngeal swab uh, anatomy illustration. And so there uh, I essentially cut open my face so you get to see uh, the nasal cavity structure and then also the, how the swab goes in. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, uh, please go uh, to take a look. Uh, I hope those information can help you if you're going to take a test. I also have recorded the entire process of me creating that illustration. So I get to share with you here to uh, let you know that the, the behind the scenes of a medical illustrator, like how uh, we create a medical illustration. This is a digital medical illustration. So I will be using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. Uh, so without further ado, let's come to see my medical illustration process. So here you can see that I put the dissection photo into Adobe Illustrator, and this will be our reference. And so first I will create a few layers, and now you only see two, but there will be more later on. And I name the layer with the dissection photo reference. And then the other layer, I will be drawing the upper respiratory tract on. So uh, let's grab the pen tool and uh, then I will start tracing. Um, okay, so you see that I make the tracing line blue so uh, I can see it better on top of this orange-ish environment. Okay, and that's the upper respiratory tract and then I'll quickly trace the outline of the head so um, they can be a good reference later. All right, then I give them a, a fill and so the silhouette is started to appear. Uh, now I'm tracing a ton. Okay, and here I quickly drop two anatomy illustration in to, and they can help me to navigate the cadavers and then to uh, see the anatomy structures. And this is actually a very good example of why we need medical illustrations. Uh, because medical illustration is like a map that can really help the doctors to uh, navigate uh, the patients and also uh, the anatomy structures they need to work on. As you can see, um, in the cadaver, everything is almost the same color and everything is really fused together and mashed together. So that's why uh, medical illustrations are very helpful in these kind of situations and, uh, and a lot of times uh, only photo is not enough. So uh, yeah, that's why they hire people like us to do this kind of work for them. Okay, and so here I'm fixing the upper lip <laughs> of the specimen uh, because in, in the cadavers, they they have been dehydrated, so some of the structures would collapse uh, or they would just uh, be deformed. So uh, I'm doing these kind of uh, plastic surgeries on the illustration so they can look more like uh, in the live state because it will be on my face. So uh, I am still alive. Uh, the last time I check, I'm still alive. So uh, I will make it more, look more like a live specimen instead of a, a cadaver. So that's also the uh, part of uh, being, a, uh, being a medical illustrator. Uh, it's the, that's the artistic part that comes in. Okay, so here now I'm creating the conchae. Uh, I'm here outlining the structures so they can be the reference lines for me to um, develop shadows when I'm in Photoshop. And, and that uh, straight line you see uh, is my reference for the swab. Okay. Uh, so, okay, and now I'm putting it on the nostril. And that's the opening of the eustachian tube. Okay. So here I made a decision to close the mouth because I only want to uh, show the nasal swab. 
because I don't have a lot of time before flying to Berlin. So, uh, so I, I decided to put that part, uh, omit that part out. Uh, yeah, I'm putting on the toot. All right. Uh, some minor adjustments here and there. And then uh, that's the hyaloid bone. Okay, and I put it on the soft palate and that will be the soft palate muscle later on. All right, and then I will uh, introduce the, my profile onto this illustration. Well, and you can see that it doesn't actually fit my face. Uh, how can that be? Uh, because that, of course it doesn't fit my face because this uh, the anatomy is from an entirely different person. Um, so uh, now I have to do the plastic surgery on my illustration so then it can fit on my face. Um, and very likely this person is a Caucasian person so the nose is definitely way bigger than mine. Um, and I have to do some nose job over there. Um, so, uh, but that's, uh, that's also another, uh, uh, important work of Scientific Illustrator is that, uh, we need to make the illustration representative to, um, to the normal population. So, um, there's definitely individuality within all, within different specimens. Uh, however, like, uh, it is like how we extract those uh, things that those common traits between all these specimens and make them into an illustration that can represent all. And while the doctors are using these illustrations, they get they can find the structure they want to these illustrations. Uh, that is a, a very important work for a medical illustrator and i think that's also the the value of uh, medical illustrators it's a very uh, unique skill so if you need something like that please let me know and uh, we can work on that together all right and so after some preparation of the layers i now export the illustration into adobe photoshop so now we can start developing the uh, light and shadows and that will give uh, the volume and the realism to the medical illustration. Okay, so now I am uh, applying the shadow with the burn tool. And, and um, so, uh, the, so as you can see, the fill that I apply uh, in the Adobe Illustrator it has become the mid-tone of, uh, of the tissue. So that can really save me a lot of time uh, while uh, doing these shading later on. So then I only need to think about applying shadows and uh, the lighting. It is a workflow that I learned from my master, uh, master program. So um, you can check it out on my channel and uh, there are some explanation on the curriculum. As you can see, I'm spending a lot of time on the details uh, because a lot of these details are actually important anatomy structures and you cannot leave them out. Um, so, uh, and okay, and now I apply some of the depth into the oral cavity as well. And then I'm working on the uh, path passage from the nostril uh, into the nasal cavity. And also uh, just pushing the entire uh, cavity a little bit more inward. Okay. Um, yeah, so a lot. Uh, so a big part of the medical illustration is to uh, really work on these details. Um, because sometimes like just like a twist or a groove, they are an actually functional medical uh, structure. They're actually a functional, uh, for example, that uh, eustachian tube, the opening of the eustachian tube that you see uh, at the back of the nasal cavity, that is a very important anatomy uh, structure. And if you don't work on it, then the entire thing looks, look, will be, look very unprofessional. Okay, so now I'm starting to apply the lighting. 
and that can really make these uh, nasal conchies like puffy. And I want to make them puffy because it is on my face and I am a living person. Uh, as far as I, the last time I checked, I'm still alive. So, so I want it to look that it's rich with uh, like blood, like it's flowing. So uh, they have to be puffy, unlike the cadaver, which has uh, dehydrated. Uh, so yeah, then that's that's part of post production that we do as medical illustrators. That uh, we uh, make, we will do these kind of uh, alternations uh, or refinement uh, in our illustrations, so they can look more lively or more dead according to uh, the function of the illustration. Okay, so now uh, here I'm uh, working on the muscles and the soft palate. Yeah, and I use the blur tool to uh, blend it in with the palette structure. Okay, and, and now we can work on the, um, the bone marrow of the maxilla bone. Um, so first I created the range I want to uh, have the bone marrow in. Then, um, yeah, I, I circle, I select it up. Uh, as a, and then it creates a boundary, then I can just uh, use a pattern brush to put in the spongy uh, tissue in the bone. That's a quick way to create the bones. Okay, and I will uh, give some uh, shadow to the on the side of the bone, so it will uh, give it some volume. And, okay, and, and then I will be working on the tooth. Let's also give it some uh, shadow and highlight so it will have uh, a volume. Okay, now let's work on the lower tooth. And then um, I will add more depth into the oral cavity. So now it looks really going in. Okay, and now uh, I'm applying highlights onto the nasal conchi. And so highlight can really give that moist uh, feeling to that part of the illustration. Uh, so um, then it looks really like lively. I've decided to uh, not show too much of the, uh, of the uh, oral cavity. So uh, I will just leave the tongue part out. And then now I'm doing the final uh, adjustments uh, between here and there. Uh, yeah, as you can see that I spend uh, even more time on the eustachian tube, uh, the opening of the eustachian tube, uh, because uh, the details are very important in medical illustrations. They have to be right. Uh, so I, you can also see that I go back and forth between the uh, specimen and, um, and also the illustration. Okay, now so the illustration is ready to be imported back into Adobe Illustrator and I will be fitting it onto my face and then I use a opacity mask to, um, to put it uh, onto my face as a part of it. And also it looks like I cut my own face open. All right, and that's how you create a medical illustration. Uh, from the beginning to the end and uh, you can see this illustration in my COVID-19 test video You can go check it out at how I use it to explain a medical procedure and uh, I hope you enjoyed this behind the scene video and if you have any questions about medical illustrations or scientific illustrations, welcome to comment below. I love to see your curiosity. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to Dropout Med for more of the scientific illustration videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.